Hey guys, Lupline here. In this video I'm going to cover the new Scrapebox Backlink Checker, version 2.0.0.0. This Backlink Checker has transitioned. The old Backlink Checker used Alexa data, but Alexa changed their data to a pro account, and now instead of giving up to 1,000 results, I only give up to 5 results, which is obviously no good. Um, plus their data is rather stale, and um, oftentimes on links can show as much as 1 -sixth or less of the total links that are there. So this backlink checker has switched to being powered by Mozscape, same as the page authority scanner. And so if you don't have it, go to add-ons, show available add-ons, and then just click on the add-on and update it. And once you're done, then you can open this up. If you already have the page authority add-on set up with accounts, it's going to check that and it's going to bring in any accounts you have set up from the page authority add-on. Otherwise, you can set up an account. So we're going to click on account setup. And then um, I'll walk you through here how to set up an API. So click on account setup. We get the option to register an API key. And then this is going to be our format up here where we use access key. ID and then pipe key and then secret key or access ID secret key and then proxy details and you can see I have one of each here so this would be my access ID my secret key and then access ID and you'll see the pipe keys there secret key and then another pipe key and then the proxy setup just like you would in Scrapebox so when we click to register an API it brings up SEO Moz's website now if you don't have an account you can register for an account if you already have an account you can go ahead and use that we're going to go down here to generate API key then this tells you uh, where you can sign up that sort of thing at this time this is how you do it you should probably read the directions because it might have changed since I made this video um, so probably a good idea to read through here but basically you're going to scroll down and you're going to originally you'll be generating a secret key and when you generate the secret key it'll also give you your access ID now don't bother copying down this information or any of the info you see in the video because I'm going to regenerate secret keys as soon as I'm done with the video so none of these will be valid so you need to go get your own very easy though it's free it's simple it's basic I'm gonna click yes here and I'm gonna regenerate a secret key just to show you what's going on this is what you'll normally see. It'll say that your secret key is available within minutes. It actually only takes seconds normally, and it'll pop back up and say API secret key was generated successfully. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this one since we just made it and place that in here with my member ID that has that one, which is this one here. And get it up formatted and then close it down here and once we have our APIs entered we're gonna load a list and I'm just gonna bring it in from the scrape box harvester here and then I'm just gonna hit start and you can see it's gonna go through and check for the total backlinks and then just keep going and so I'll pause the video here for just a second let it bring down some backlinks and that's good enough and so I'm just gonna stop it here and then let it finish and once it completes we're going to save the backlinks and we can just stick them in here and once they're saved then we can view them let me get that open here and just bring this across here and we can see our list of backlinks thousands of, uh, up to a thousand each for each one of those particular URLs that we had there and that is how you use the new scrapebox backlink checker to get more accurate results and to get more results in total